Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from acsyndicate.net here to do a video showing you the latest method to unroot or unbrick your Samsung Galaxy S3, specifically the Sprint variant of the Galaxy S3. Um, this is going to allow you to get back to complete stock, whether you want to take it back to Sprint for any warranty reason, or if you just want to go back to stock for any reason whatsoever. Or if your phone is bricked, this is the best way to attempt to fix it, or soft bricked. But let's go ahead and get into it. So first of all, data is going to be wiped most likely, so keep that in mind. Um, I'll actually make an annotation now on what data is wiped. My guess is it's only going to be apps, contacts, etc. Your internal storage is most likely not going to be wiped, but I'll put in annotation right now letting you know what's going to be wiped as I haven't tried this yet, so I'll let you know once done. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. So first of all, all you need to do is go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video below. It will take you to this website right here. First of all, shout out and thanks to my man Adam Lang for putting this together for us. So what we're gonna need to do is scroll down and you will see downloads right here. Just click on the direct download here. Click on that, download it. You're also gonna need to make sure you have Odin. So click on this file as well, this zip file. This will be Odin as well. So if you rooted your device, you probably already have Odin, but if not, just click on that download link and it'll download Odin for you as well. So once you've downloaded both of those files, what I recommend doing is actually going to your desktop and then go ahead and create a new folder. And so hit new folder and you can just call it GS3 on root. That's fine, um, just something you know what it is. Now go to your downloads folder where those files have downloaded and inside you will see that you have Odin 3306 along with um, you have the tar file. So it's actually a zip file as well. It's called samsungupdates.com, sbhl710, yada yada yada, all that information. Um, both of them are zip files so we're going to need to basically unzip them. So what we can do is double click on them and inside you'll see that there's a tar file. It says .tar at the end. What you can do is take both of them and just transfer them both into that uh, on root folder, that second file, that application extension, you're not gonna need, but um, just transfer both of them, why not? Um, so it's actually a pretty big file, so it's gonna take a little bit of time to extract out of that zip. All right, once that's done extracting, go back to your downloads and go to that Odin 306 um, zip file, and inside you'll see that folder. You can just click and drag that folder into that GS3 on root folder. So once you've done that, you're ready to go. You can open up your GS3 unroot folder and inside you will see those files that we have just extracted. So you'll see that Odin 306 folder and that tar file right there. Um, we can actually get everything all set up now. So double click on that Odin 306 folder and inside up at the top, you will see Odin itself. Right click on it and hit run as administrator and hit yes. And then once there, you will see this would be the latest version of Odin right here. Uh, once we have this loaded on up, all we're gonna have to do is uh, actually press this PDA button that is right here on the right side. So go ahead and press that PDA button. And then what we're gonna need to do is navigate to that folder that's on our desktop, the Galaxy S3 Unroot folder. You'll see Galaxy S3 Unroot, double click on that. And then select that tar file, that keys home uh, tar file, double click on that as well. And then you will see in the PDA box it is checked and it has that tar file. Leave auto reboot and F reset time checked, just leave them both checked. Um, and that's really all we have to do to get everything set up for Odin. Now what we can do is actually grab our uh, device and we're going to need to power it off. So go ahead and just completely shut it down. All right, and once completely powered off, we're actually going to need to get into Odin or download mode. To do so, what you do is press and hold volume down, the home button and power button all at the same time. Press and hold all three of them. Keep it held down. And it will say warning a custom OS can cause critical problems. Hit volume up to continue. And there we go, so that would be it. You'll see it takes us into download mode right here. What we do now is just go ahead and plug our device into our PC. So plug it on in. Um, if you don't have the drivers installed on your PC, I will link to those. You're gonna need to make sure you have those installed. Uh, once you plug it in though, in Odin, you will see a blue box right here. It says COM17, it should say COM and then a number. It doesn't matter what the number is. Just make sure it shows up with this blue box because that means Odin recognizes your device. 
So once plugged in, once only auto reboot F reset timer checked and that tar file is in the PDA slot, we are ready to go. Go ahead and hit that start button. So hit start. Um, it'll actually take a little bit of time uh, since it's a full stock tar. Uh, but anyways, you will see a progress bar in Odin right up here along with a progress bar on your device. So you will see a blue progress bar going on. It will take a lot of time as I said. All right, so just a heads up, it's been taking a little bit of time. It's been sitting on system for a while. It is still, the progress bar is still moving. It looks like there is no progress bar on the phone as of yet. Normally there is, but I guess there's not. Uh, but other than that though, I did want to talk about, make sure you don't unplug your device while uh, this is running, obviously. Um, make sure you don't shut off your computer, anything like that. Also, um, make sure if you ha do run into any problems, if Odin gets stuck, it shouldn't take more than 15 minutes to do this. I'll actually let you know exactly how long it took after it's done, but um, it shouldn't take any longer than 15 minutes. If it is taking longer than that, uh, generally, any issues with Odin is in regards to the cable, so try a different micro USB cable. You can also try a different USB port on your PC. Um, you can also uh, try reinstalling drivers as well. Those are basically the main fixes um, if anything happens with Odin. Also, since this is taking a lot of time, make sure your PC doesn't go into sleep mode. Make sure you move that mouse so um, your computer doesn't hibernate or anything like that. This is taking a good amount of time, um, longer than usual, but the file is actually really large. So just kind of, as I said, be patient with it and I'll be back once it's getting closer. All right, looks like it's just about finishing up. Usually the modem is the last thing that is flashed while using Odin. All right, you'll see it says reset and it's gonna automatically reboot your device. Um, sometimes it boots it into stock recovery. That might happen, that might not, we will see. Again, I haven't done this yet, it does. So it's booting us into the stock recovery. So this is normal, don't be alarmed if this happens. Uh, once it says reset, it should say past. Not exactly sure why it's not, but uh, you'll see Galaxy S3 boot animation should be the stock sprint boot animation as well. Looking good. Um, it looks like it says remove down there in Odin, so you should be able to unplug your device. I'm going to let it boot up before I do. And it looks like it's loading on up. Kind of upset it didn't give me a time um, that it took to do this. I mean, it took probably about 10 minutes to flash this file, so kind of keep that in mind. It is take does take a bit of time. All right, so our device has fully rebooted, and we can actually unplug our device. Once it says removed in Odin, you can unplug it. So as you can see, unfortunately, it doesn't say how long it took. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to our device. All right, so as I said, it has not wiped any data. It didn't wipe the internal storage either, uh, which is great. Um, Odin actually did say pass, and it took eight minutes and 58 seconds. So keep that in mind, uh, that's about how long it took for me. It does vary, uh, but as I said, if it takes any longer than 15 minutes, something went wrong, you're gonna have to try it again with all those tips that I mentioned. But in our app drawer, uh, you will see I do not have super user installed in my app drawer at all. Um, so no super user whatsoever. I do, however, have BusyBox installed, so you might wanna uninstall that, you can just hit uh, menu, uninstall, and tap on BusyBox and hit OK, and then BusyBox is uninstalled, just to kind of remove any traces of it. But you'll see no super user in my app drawer at all. Uh, data was preserved, thankfully. Uh, that's actually kind of nice that it does that. But uh, with data being preserved, some things can go wrong. If for any reason you're having a bunch of forced closes or any issues whatsoever, what we're gonna need to do is make a factory uh, reset. So what I recommend doing just in case is powering off your device. Uh, just This is if you have problems, but I do also wanna show you that you should have stock recovery now and you should not have uh, your custom recovery uh, twerp anymore. But once it's powered off, what we're gonna need to do is press and hold volume up uh, home button and power button all at the same time until uh, the screen lights up. Let go. So go ahead and let go once that screen lights up. And what it should do is take us into stock recovery now. And it did. So you'll see it takes us into stock recovery right here. Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, we do not have our custom recovery twerp anymore, which is great. Obviously, you don't want that if you're uh, trying to unroot your device. Uh, but if for any reason whatsoever you um, have any problems with 
your ROM now, if it's forced closing, if it's stuck in a boot loop, get into this stock recovery and go down uh, with the volume keys to wipe data factory reset and press the power button to select it and then go ahead and scroll down and hit yes, delete all user data. And that would be it. So that's how you do that. You can hit the back arrow, I believe, to back out of it, maybe not, or just hit a no to back out of it if you don't wanna do it. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. That's how you do a factory reset in stock recovery on your Samsung Galaxy S3. So hit reboot system now, obviously, when it's done uh, doing the factory reset, and that would be it. So obviously no need to do the factory reset if your device is running fine like mine is. I, I didn't seem to have any problems, but if I do run into any problems at all, I will, of course, do a factory reset in stock recovery. So there you have it there. That is the proper way to fully unroot or unbrick your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, using Odin. If you have any questions, run into any problems, feel free to ask. Hopefully this video has helped you out. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.